Okay, so we're having an actual issue. Users are complaining about some slowness in the app. Right, so in the past, I would have had to log into my observability platform, start searching my logs, traces, look at dashboards, literally put the pieces together one by one, which was a long manual process. Right, so let's go ahead and use Ollie to investigate this, and we'll see how it's much quicker and much more convenient. Now, you could just talk to Ollie in natural language, so let's go ahead and type what's causing the app to be slow today. Right, so while Ollie is working on it, uh, I think the coolest thing about Ollie is that, first of all, it's connected to all your observability data, and the second is that it has contextual awareness. Uh, and we're gonna see that in action in a minute. Uh, so it spotted two services that have a spike in the latency, uh, user service and the payment service. And we can also see why the contextual awareness is so important. It recognized two different metrics that are relevant and represent the latency in those two services. Amazing. So now that Ollie has found the two services that are causing the issue, let's go ahead and look at the flow between them to understand the problem better. Right. So I'll write something like, analyze the request flow between the two services. And now we're gonna see another feature of all in action. We're gonna see it uh, analyzing traces. It's going to look for traces that start, that involve both the user service and the payment service. Um, and let's see what it comes up with. Amazing, okay, so we can actually see that what's taking the longest is processing the payments, and what's really causing the issue is getting the users, right? Right, so we see that the get users profile call is taking 950 milliseconds, and specifically the DB get user is taking uh, 900 milliseconds, uh, which is quite long, and Ollie also points it out, also comes up with an hypothesis that says uh, the reason that we're experiencing slowness is due to load on the database. He's saying that the DB connection pool is saturated. Right, so now that Ali has identified the bottleneck, let's go ahead and look at our system resources to see how it affects everything. Right, so check system resources. Right, so it's going, uh, Ollie's again going to use metrics, uh, same thing we saw earlier, uh, but this time to give me a much wider range and much wider view on my entire system. And we can actually see that, uh, okay, that's very cool. So we can see that it detected a resource exhaustion uh, issue, and we can actually see it's not just the DB connections as we thought earlier. We can see a spike in the CPU usage, a spike in the memory usage, as well as the DB connections. Right, so we can see that the whole system is under a lot of pressure. Now let's go ahead and listen to Ali and go and look at the error logs to try and find the root cause. Right, so find relevant errors. Uh, let's see what it comes up with. And we're going to see, again, another feature of Ollie, uh, the fact that it's also connected to your logs. Uh, it already knows that uh, we're in the context of the user service, so it will search for logs that are specific to the user service. OK, cool. Uh, so it, it thinks it came up with the actual root cause. Uh, it's saying that there's a memory leakage error, uh, 47 out of memory errors, uh, which is cool. Let's see if we can actually, yeah, we can actually spot the exact error log and exact error message that triggered this whole flow. Um, we can see that uh, uh, memory allocation failed, which is consistent with out of memory errors. And Ollie is also summarizing it for us. So essentially what happens is that there is a memory leak in the user service. It causes the pods to crash, and that results in more and more connections to the database being created. So the database is not at fault, it's actually the user service that is at fault here. Well, I really like how it generated a bottom line summary for me. And now that I know what happened, I'd like to see a full timeline, start to finish. Okay, cool. So let's ask you to show me a timeline. Let's see what it comes up with. Uh, it will essentially go and look for the same error uh, messages that we saw. So it knows that the problem is memory related. It's going to look for the first and last error message. Great, right, so we can see how it, how it shows everything from the initial warning signs that happened 30 plus minutes ago up until the critical point that was more recently. And I also like how it shows me the key findings in each stage and what it found in its investigation. That's amazing, now how do we fix it? Cool, so let's give Ollie a try that too. So let's ask, uh, how do we fix this? Now, Ollie is also connected to Kubernetes, uh, and in this case, um, it will suggest a mitigation because fixing the actual problem uh, involves changing the code. But 
Here, it suggests a mitigation that would help us uh, solve the issue temporarily. So it's uh, connected to Kubernetes and it's suggesting Kubernetes command uh, to actually increase the memory limitation of my pods, which would cause them to stop uh, restarting and stop crashing because they would have more memory. Not a long-term fix, but still gives me the time and the ability to fix it long-term without the pressure of my system failing. That's amazing. What I think is really great in this whole process that Ollie gave us everything, right? The root cause, how it affected our whole system, a summary, and even a quick fix. So that's great.